developed in the. Are you seeing anything? Yes, Scott and Janice, actually right now there are some neighbors still sitting here outside. There are cars lined up and up and down the street and also over here to my right here. But I've been following a neighborhood Facebook page and people have reported seeing a person from the home crack a door open as police work to get that person to come out. Neighbors tell me it's been a scary situation just waiting to see what's going to happen. It was cars and cars and cars, and they just had to be turned away. I've never seen anything like that here. Tara Nade Janati spent more than four hours out of her home as she returned to her neighborhood surrounded with police cars. When I first got here at 4.30, there was like 15 cars trying to get to their, uh, 15 people parked this way with their families trying to get to their homes, and they couldn't even get to their houses. Neighbors tell me police cars started to gather on their street near London Lakes Drive around 2.30, and by evening, Evening, SWAT was bringing in all of their heavy gear along with the command center. That was really scary. I've never seen anything like that in person. It's like something out of a movie. I've, I've never witnessed that. Seeing those guns. I see they, uh, several of the police had AK-47s on them. And all of this action, neighbors say it's unsettling. To see our neighbors, like, you know, are they in danger? Like, you know just to you worry about these people because you you know these people you see them every day and it's pretty terrifying Now, some people who live on those streets who aren't directly impacted by the situation have been let back into their homes, but there are others, as I showed you, who are still out here waiting. I spoke to police, and they have not gotten any new updates. Reporting live and near Mandarin, Brittany Jones, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Brittany. Still on the run, the man Jacksonville police neighborhood near Mandarin for hours. Now, we brought you this story as breaking news at 6. JSO says officers are responding to a sensitive situation involving one person. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Jones has been at the scene after it unfolded. And Brittany, what's the latest? Well, Janice and Scott, right now I can actually hear them over the loudspeaker telling that person to come out of the front door, but we have still not heard anything about any movement at this point. But there are neighbors here waiting over here to my right that have been waiting to get into their homes. And while they're hoping that this ends peacefully, they are just ready to get back to their homes. It's terrifying. Tara Nade Gennady is one of dozens of neighbors who police wouldn't allow to return home after the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office blocked off streets for hours in the Waterford Estates neighborhood. The, the two ways that I can get to my house, I can't even get to my house. We've been stuck out here. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has only confirmed deputies were responding to a mentally ill person threatening suicide. Neighbors tell me police cars started to gather on their street near London Lakes Drive around 2.30. Later, you can see SWAT arrive with guns walking the street and set up their command center. Came by here at 2.30, mm -hmm. and there was like seven police cars out in front. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't, I wondered what was going on, but uh, then I just come back about um, 30 minutes ago, and all this was here, and they, I couldn't go down there. Shirley Walker says police told her to call the non-emergency line to find out more information. But I don't imagine they'll tell you anything. They don't any know any more than here. Some neighbors say they called and JSO said they couldn't give them a timeline, but they're hoping the person inside yeah. the home will be okay. Something like this happens that you kind of, you know, hope for their safety and stuff. So, I mean, it's pretty intense. Now, people are asking for prayers for that person at this time. We do know that fire rescue is standing by. Reporting live in Mandarin, Brittany Jones, Channel 4, the local station. There are now more than 200 people working.